The next night, Zelskis arranged a glorious feast for all of his candidates. Oh, please tell me that she was the last one. N not to worry, sire. She was the 13th one. There's still more? Oh, what am I going to do? Why is the king have to be so cruel? But yet, what if I'm judging the king too quickly? Is his majesty bored? Um, your majesty? What's wrong? Huh? Oh dear, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh, forgive me, your majesty. I didn't mean to- No, 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 no. There's no need for you to apologize, my dear. I've been anxious to meet a mayor like you. How about you tell me more about you, my dear? I, uh, also like gardens? Really? This palace just happens to have the biggest, most luscious and beautiful garden in it in the entire kingdom. Come, I'll show you! No! I mean, that won't be necessary, my lord. I like to sing. You can sing us a song! Oh, it will be great! No, wait! Your Majesty, I- To the stage, my dear! I have made my decision. You shall be my new queen! The battle is not ours, we learn to love, it is our guide, our light, and our sweet dove, so do not be afraid, for What? You were expecting some narration, perhaps? <laughs> oh, Celestia, how in the world did all of this happen? Great ah! view, huh? Oh, King Xerxes, oh, it's just you. Thank goodness. What's the matter, my dear? Aren't you excited for your parade? It's not that. It's just, all those ponies out there, they'll all be staring at me. Well, of course they'll be staring at you. After all, you're their new queen. But that's the problem. You see, I have terrible stage fright. Stage fright? But weren't you able to perform last night just fine and- Only because you requested me to do so, your majesty. Sheesh, some hubby you turned out to be. She's calling you your majesty again. Great, just great, Xerxes. First you forced her to sing, and now you're making her do something that she doesn't want to do all over. Come on, old boy, think. How can you make it up to her? Think, think, think. Aha! Oh, Esther, there's someone here that wants to meet you. Oh my goodness, it's an ancient elephant! Oh, she's so beautiful! But, but how? In the middle of Saddle Arabia of all places. I knew that she would cheer you up. Oh, what's her name? <laughs> That's up for you to decide, my dear. Gabriel. Gabriel's a nice name. Gabrielle, it is. She can be our escort for the parade, if you want. Really? We can actually ride her for the parade? But of course! I am the king, after all. 
Really? Oh my goodness! Thank you, Circuses! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much! Did you hear that, Gabrielle? We have to go to the parade together! <laughs> yes, she's calling you Xerxes again! Oh, Xerxes, she's just crazy about you! The streets are cleared, Your Excellency. Well, excellent! In that case, let's get this shindig started! Right away, Your Majesty. Why did you have to take Esther? Are you ready to go, my sweet? Ready, Simcha. It's showtime! Make way for king and queen. Long live the king and queen. Greetings in a boulevard. Hey, you. Yes, you look at where you are. Oh, come be the first on your street to see their coterie. This way, here they come with the wedding bells and drum toms. These guys are just gonna love the king, king and queen, queen the fabulous weave, Saddle Arabia. Don't be shy when, when seeing the hottest scene. Now try, try your best to stay calm. Clean, clean up, up your best garb. Then come and see the lovely dovey glory. Esther the queen, lovely is she, Saddle Arabia. Pretty girl than ten mares, definitely. She faced the galloping hordes of bad stallions with swords. She made all those goons swoon, oh, hail the queen. With thousands of diamonds made from carbon. And amethysts made from silicon dioxide When it comes to animals you've never seen It's a royal zoo, I'm telling you It's the Garden of Eden King Xerxes, handsome as he of Saddle Arabia That physique, how can you speak? We get the knee Well, get out to see the parade Adjust your bill and prepare To gawk and scrubble and stare at King Xerxes Go and see all the dancing sea monkeys And to dance with them there is no fear There's even dancers, prancers, and flunkies They bow to them, them bluffs so and them They're just lost to the royalty To King Xerxes and his queen And that the ponies is why we got all up and dropped by with flying hippos, randoms galore, insanity, music, reference galore, with forty shakers, daughter, the pond makers, and cops of war one feet. Make a way for King and Queen. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun! I never knew that being part of a parade could be so wonderful! Oh, you see, my dear, you had nothing to fear. You know, you're a lot braver than you give yourself credit for. Thank you, Gabrielle. You were lovely today. <laughs> I told you that I hold you to your word. You... you weren't kidding about this garden. It's... Oh, it's beautiful. They call this place the Garden of Eden. Or at least they used to. Used to? 
When did they change it? Since today! Ha <laughs> ha! I just renamed it. It is now officially the Garden of Esther. Oh, oh, no. You don't have to do that. I really don't need a garden named after me. Really. Oh, please. It was the least I could do. Believe me, this kingdom will be thanking me for it. A name like the Garden of Eden was just referencing something ancient, old, and warm. Blech. The Garden of Esther, on the other hoof, has a catchier ring to it, don't you think? Um, maybe? <gasps> oh my goodness, just look at this! You can see the entire kingdom from here. Well, that's what you get for lifting the palace thousands of feet off the ground. <laughs> and they say that suspending the palace above the city was insane. <laughs> the joke's on them. Oh, Celestia, hear my humble prayer. How I thank thee for our new queen, Queen Esther. Protect her, my goddess, from the king's wrath. May she guide our people out of the king's darkness, so that way we may return into your sweet light. Others may have lost hope, but, but I haven't. Hey, you, old-timer, what do you think you're doing? Sir? By royal decree, you are not allowed to be near any sites dedicated to the goddess Celestia until further notice. I... I just... We just saw you on your knees, you old stallion. Cadet! Sorry, sir. I... I was on my way from the parade officer, and I got lost! You're better off not lying to us, sir. The punishment for lying about crimes against the crown is far more severe than the crime itself. Please, sirs, have mercy. I have a granddaughter who needs me. If something were to happen to me, she would have no pony. Please, do not let her suffer because of my mistakes. I swear, this is the only time that I have prayed to her since the beginning of Xerxes' rule. Honest, please, I will not pray in her name again. There's no need to bow, citizen. You may rise and roam to see another day. So long as I don't see your tracks heading back towards this temple again. Is that understood? Understood, sir. So, I'm guessing that we're not going to be telling Captain Moria this little incident when we get back, huh? That is correct, Cadet. <laughs> and we're certainly not going to tell Hamana or the King for sure or... Cadet. If you want to rat me out, then do so. No doubt there'll be a great promotion in your future if you do so. No, sir. When it comes to matters like these, I have no objection. Good. Come. Section D will be expecting us soon for cleanup duty. Oh, Celestia, have mercy on my soul. Esther? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Circuses. Uh, did you say something? Is everything alright? Is the garden too much? You can be honest with me. What? Oh, no, no, no. The garden is beautiful. It's just, for as long as I can remember, I've always been a small mare in a big kingdom. And I've accepted this. But now, after looking at this view, the kingdom looks so small, and that makes me feel so big. <laughs> that's, that's what you were concerned about? Well, of course you should feel big, my dearest. You're the queen. You're the biggest of all the biggest deals in the entire kingdom. Every pony knows that. And as for me, well, I especially know that because I am your king. Your simple but humble, loving, and devoted king. 
yours and yours alone. Your husband and you, my dear Esther, you are now my wife, my queen of this entire kingdom. And now we are finally alone as king and queen. Wait, is he? Oh dear. I'm actually quite tired. Oh yes, tired, quite tired. I should really take a nap. Yes, a nap. A nap should do the trick. Oh, um, is that, is that all right with you, your ma- I mean, circuses? Uh, oh, um, yes, uh, uh, of course. Uh, what was I thinking? That parade must have, uh, it was, you know, the, the lights and the parade and then, uh, let me take you to your room. Sheesh, I must look like a mess. Bye, Gabrielle. Bye, everyone. Uh, here we are, your room. Now, if you need anything, anything at all, my room is just down the hall. Thank you, um, circuses. I deeply appreciate your hospitality. Oh, it's not the hospitality, my dear. This palace is just as much your home as it is mine. My... my home? Listen, Esther, if you're not... Too busy tomorrow, would you perhaps like to join me in the throne room? Oh, um, sure. I don't see why not. Really? Oh, uh, splendid. Oh, I can't wait. I mean, cool. Uh, see you tomorrow, my chickadee dee. Oh, yeah, baby, you nailed it, Xerxes. Oh, oh, you sly dog, you. Oh, who's the king? Who's the king? Who, who, who? Wait a minute. Why am I the king? King Xerxes, so excited about this. She should be excited to be meeting me in the throne room. As for that matter, why was I so ugh, nervous about asking her in the first place? Phew. Welcome, Welcome your, your majesty. majesty. Oh, um, hello, all of you. Um, not to sound rude, but... Who are you? We're your ladies in waiting, your majesty. I'm Ruth, your first lady in waiting. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, um, it's a pleasure to meet you too. All of you. But, um, Ruth? Yes, your excellency? Is it a right if every pony just calls me Esther? I mean, it is my name, and- I'm afraid we can't do that, your highness. Oh, I see. I understand. Uh, is there anything that we can help you with, Queen Esther? Oh no, thank you. That won't be necessary. I was just about to change out of these clothes and take a nap. Oh, but your highness, we can do that for you. Girls! Wait, what are you doing? Oh, stop! This really is oh, necessary! Oh, oh wow. This is, this is beautiful. It's so soft. Glad that it's up to your standards, my queen. If you need anything, your highness, we'll be right outside. I... I will. Thank you, Ruth. You're, You're welcome, welcome, your majesty. majesty. Good, Good night, night, our queen. queen. <sighs> Good night. Oh, Mariah, even though it's only been one day, I, I've already missed you so much. I know what you mean, Essie. I've missed you too. I've missed you so much. I'm so sorry that I had to ignore you today. I didn't want to, I, I swear. It pained me to do it. It's just... It's all right, Mariah. I understand why you did it. We get to talk now and that's all that matters. How are you doing, Esther? He's not... 
mistreating you, is he? No, he isn't mistreating me. In fact, he's done nothing but spoil me all day. But you're not happy, are you? He never asked me, Mariah. He never asked me if I wanted to be queen. Or if I wanted to be his queen. Or if I love him. In fact, I don't even know if he loves me. Essie, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Mariah. I'll be okay. I promise. Oh, Esther. There just has to be a good reason why you're here. What do you mean? I mean... There has to be a reason as to why Celestia sent you here, and why she made you queen. After all, she couldn't just let one of her own ponies live like, well, like this. You think, you really think that Celestia, THE Celestia, made me queen? For a reason? But why? I do not know what the reason may be, but I do know that Celestia has a plan. A plan for each of us. A destiny, a purpose, a higher meaning to each of our own lives. As stated in the scripture of Moses the Bearded, it is she who is at work in us, and to work is her own good pleasure. Esther, I have told you time and again, ever since I got this job as captain of the guard, that Celestia has a plan for me. But what you should know is that she has a plan for you too. Uh, me? Oh no, she doesn't have that kind of plan for me, Mariah. I'm just an ordinary mare. A peasant mare, no less. What can I do? Esther, you can do more than you know. Do not underestimate yourself. It's getting late. You should probably get some rest. I have a feeling that the king will need you bright and early tomorrow morning. Say no more. I will make sure to carry forth with this task. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, then? Yes, tomorrow. In the throne room. At the king's request. See you tomorrow in the throne room, Esther. This is another song that runs under the credits. These are the credits, so this is where it goes. It has nothing to do with the story, so I'll say, oh, lay, 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 lay. There once was a song that ran under the credits. It went with the show, but this is not that song. And the credits will never go with the story, so I'll say, oh, lay, 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 lay. Wouldn't it be nice if the song sat we sang had something to do with the episode you just saw? But that is not the case, so for now I'll have to say, Oh, lay, 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 lay. Why should there be a rule that the song under the credits mostly pertains to the series' basic plot? But that rule has not been made, so now we'll have to say, Oh, lay, 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 lay. Why would there be a rule that the song under the credits remotely pertains to the series' basic plot? But that rule has not been made, so for now we'll have to say, Oh, lay, 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 lay. <laughs> you didn't think we were going to see me again this episode, where are you? I think not. I hope you had a good time. Enjoy the story, and I hope you see the next episode. Stay f safe out there, my friends. And please wear your proper veil and face protection against the sands and viruses of the world today. From now on, stay safe, stay positive, and remember, friendship is magic.